Hey everyone, welcome back to Juggling Gym, where my goal is to help you learn how to juggle and have fun doing it. Today, I'm going to show you how to get better at passing clubs all by yourselves. First, I'm going to start with exercises that are more fundamental, so when you're just getting started with passing clubs, and then as the video continues, I'm going to give you some more intermediate things that you can practice to get better at passing clubs. This first tip is something that you can practice as you're practicing all of the other tips, and that is starting with two clubs in your non-dominant hand, which for me is my left hand. So when you start out, you're only going to be doing patterns starting with your right hand. Eventually, there will be some patterns when you start with your left hand. When I start with my right hand, I'm going to throw the club that's on the bottom, the pink club first, and then I do the same thing when I start with my left hand. And it's also good to practice catching in both hands as well. I've taught several people how to pass clubs, and this next tip is the number one thing that I tell new club passers. So a lot of times when people start passing clubs, they are looking so much at their own pattern that they can't see the clubs that are coming into them. And this is pretty natural because when you're juggling by yourself, there's nothing else to look at. You're just looking at your clubs. If you keep your clubs really narrow, then it's hard to see any clubs that are coming towards you. When you're by yourself, you want to practice doing a wide pattern and you want to practice looking through it to see something else. For example, now I am making direct eye contact with the camera while keeping the clubs in my peripheral vision. When you pass juggling clubs, you want to use more arm movement than wrist movement. You still use a little bit of wrist movement, but if you use too much, then it can overspin where it spins too many times or underspin when it doesn't spin enough times. Also, if you get used to using more arm movement, then you have more control over the club. So when you make a juggling pass, you're gonna bring your arm all the way down, and then that way it's easier to use more arm and less wrist. So you can practice by doing a self throw, and then as I'm swinging my arm down, I try to release the club a little bit, and then I kind of hold it a little bit farther down than normal. So self, slide your hand down the handle, and then do a throw. I'm just doing a high throw to kind of mimic like a pass. Practicing double throws is useful because it gives you control over your clubs and it's also used in lots of different passing patterns. Make sure to practice with both your right and your left hand. Something that is incredibly useful when passing clubs is getting used to correcting bad throws. By bad throw, I mean something that is overspun or underspun. So in that case, you're going to end up catching the club like this. You want to get back to the club being like this. Now, I just did a half spin. In actuality, I normally do one and a half spins because my half spins I find a little bit difficult to do. So a long time ago, I made a video about doing one and a half spins. And in that video, I talked about how it's important that you keep the amount of wrist the same. That's normally true, but when I'm passing clubs, I like to do a fast one and a half spin to get the club from one hand to another. In that case, it's the same amount of arm movement, but more wrist movement. This would take too long. So instead, I'll do something like this. And then you can practice doing it with three clubs. So I'm starting the pattern like this. So I do here. Now I am back and I have it in the handle side. Now I will show you the reverse. In my video with Kirsten, we showed you lots of different tricks that you can do in a four count. Before you can do these tricks in a four count, you should practice doing them on your own. I really, with that one, you should practice trying to get the club as far away from you as possible, which is a little tricky, but since I'm inside, I'm not gonna practice that. Once you get more into passing clubs, there are patterns that involve walking. So it's good to practice walking forward while juggling, walking backwards, walking side to side if I had room. You get the idea. Thanks so much for watching the video. I know I haven't been posting as much recently just because I've been pretty busy, but coming in to the new year, I have big plans for the channel, so stay tuned for an update about that. Keep juggling and have fun.